What's going on guys? Welcome back to Fired Up Friday. And it is Friday and we're about to cook some good groceries up in here. Come on. So what we're going to do tonight is I'm going to do a stuffed pork tenderloin, but I'm going to do it a little bit different. I'm actually going to turn it more into like a pinwheel. I'm going to take some cream cheese and some fresh herbs and some onions, bell peppers, jalapenos and stuff. Stuff it all in there. Roll it up nice and tight. And then wrap it with bacon and smoke it on the big green egg for about three hours. Man, it's going to be good. But we're also going to do some baked potatoes with that that we're actually going to cook in the coals on the big green egg. We're going to start with that because these are some big old taters. And it's going to take a minute for them to cook. So we're going to go ahead and do this. It's very simple. I'm just going to take my knife here. I'm just going to put some little slices in it just so the butter and the seasonings can get down in it once it starts cooking. We are 100% off grid as you can see that bee flying around my head right there. We do most of our cooking on this channel <laughs> outside. Just the way I like it even though it is 98 degrees here right now in Arkansas. It is crazy crazy hot right now. But that ain't going to stop me from cooking some good groceries here on this Friday. On the last video we cooked some mouth watering bone sucking baby back ribs man they turned out so good and now we're doing pork again the reason why i'm doing pork again is because on my other channel come on keeping it real i ask a lot of you guys what did you want me to cook and pork tenderloin kept coming up so i like to do things different here on this channel i'm not just going to throw a pork tenderloin on the grill and cook it and not film it anyways. I will do that every once in a while for my own food because I, a good pork tenderloin just the way it is smoked. Now, there's something to be said about that. But on this channel, I try to do things a little different, push the envelope a little bit, try new recipes. What I'm doing tonight, I've never tried. So I have no idea how it's going to turn out, but we're going to make it do what it do, boo-boo. We're going to make it do what it do. All right, let's go ahead and take the first potato. I've already rinsed these off, so they're good to go. We're gonna put some butter on it. I like a lot of butter. Then we're just gonna take some garlic salt, put there on it. We're gonna take some of that pink Himalayan salt, put a little bit of that on there, and some fresh ground pepper. And that's it. We're going to keep it stupid simple. Fold them up. Get all your seasonings. Make sure you ain't losing all your good stuff. Wrap it up like that. And just like that. And when you set it on your coals, the part that you kind of bunched up right there that's real thick set that side down on the coals that way it doesn't char the potato on the bottom too much little pro tip now all we're going to do is do that same thing again put a couple more slices in it put some more of that good butter on there sooky sooky now a little garlic now with the potatoes you can use whatever seasoning that you want i Typically every time do it with some kind of different seasoning. I love taking different flavor profiles and trying them with different things and just see what's going to happen. Cooking and grilling intimidates a lot of people, but don't let it intimidate you. Have fun with it. Try new things. You're going to fail from time to time. Not everything's going to be mouth water and bone sucking good, but that's half the fun of it. And then you get to create Something that you've never had before that just turned out amazing. So for me, it's worth it. I promise you I have a lot more successes than I have failures. Alright, so we got that done. So we'll go ahead and get these on the big green egg. Because like I said earlier, they're going to take some time. Right now the egg is at about 400, which is a little bit hotter than what I want. So we're going to close it off just a little bit. 
I want it to be around 3, 350. That's what I'm going to cook the pork at. You always want to burp your egg a little bit. And I'm just going to put them down right there. I don't want to put them directly on the coals. Because once this thing starts cooking, it'll cook them. All right. All right, now let's go ahead and start working on that pork. The first thing we're going to have to do is fillet it out so it'll lay down flat so we can get the nice spread on there before we roll it up and wrap it in bacon. All right, now the trick to this is you want to get your knife horizontal with your meat, just like this. I'm going to cut this one this way, fillet it down, and then I'll keep repeating the steps until I got about a quarter inch. So I got about a quarter inch to half inch little thick meat that lays down flat. That way we can put our seasonings, our green cheese in there. Should be really good. Now I've done this plenty of times with some uh, venison backstrap. I have not tried this yet with a pork loin. So we're going to see how it goes together. It helps to have a very sharp knife when you do this, but be very careful and do not cut your hand. Just like that. You see how that lays down flat like that? This side right here is still a little thicker. So we're going to come down exactly the same width that we got right here and do the same thing again. And take your time. It's not a race because if you go too much, you will poke a hole in it and then you'll have ooze problems. There we go. Just like that. Check that out, guys. This is exactly what we're looking for. Now, when we do the next one, I'll do a little bit of closer up so you can actually see how the knife's working and exactly how it's done. See, I start right here. I make a, a cut, as you can see, about a half inch. And I just keep that same line as I go through and I peel back just to make sure that I don't go all the way through. If you do go all the way through, it's not that big of a deal when you're wrapping it with bacon because the bacon will help conceal everything. There you go. And this right here has a natural tear in it already because it is a pork loin. But that ain't that big of a deal. Like I said, the bacon will take care of that. Different cuts of meat work better for this. Backstrap works great because you don't have that loose skin right there like you do on a pork loin. But there we go. And that right there will be a good base for our cream cheese and our spices. All right, I'm just gonna take a fork because that's what's handy. A spoon would probably work better. And I'm just gonna spread it on the pork. Now I actually putting jalapenos in this recipe because I like things spicy. You can or cannot put them in there. It's up to you. A lot of people don't like spice. I particularly do. That's the fun thing about cooking. You can cook to your palate, whatever you like. I can't wait to make jalapeno poppers with the remainder of this cream cheese. Hopefully we have enough bacon left over. Woo. It's gonna be a nice little treat while we're grilling. Be honest with you, a butter knife probably would've worked a lot better with this. There we go, that right there is plenty. Plenty of cream cheese. All right, now the spices, herbs, and vegetables that we're gonna put in here, we're gonna go with a white onion, a red bell pepper, 
jalapeno, some organic chive, and some Italian parsley. I think that right there will give it a good little flavor profile. And with all of that cooking inside that pork and wrapped in that bacon, oh, it's going to be amazing. Also, make sure you wash your vegetables. It's always good to do that. I've already done that. Now, as far as how big that you chop this, that is all by preference. I don't like big chunks of bell pepper, so I'm going to cut them small, but not too small. Let me ask you something. Put down in the comments, what is your favorite thing to cook? Whether it be grilling, inside, baking, I'd like to know but what your favorite thing is. And also, what would you like me to cook and put my twist on it? A little bit of that milkman flair. I'm not culinary art trained by any kind of means. I did own a restaurant at one point in my life. But really, most of what I've learned as far as cooking is what we're doing right here. Just taking random ingredients and trying something different. And after a while, you start learning about different flavor profiles and what works and pairs real good together. One of the bad things about cooking outside all the time is the flies. At some point, I will be screening in my outdoor kitchen. All right, we're going to sprinkle a little bit of the bell peppers on here. Any of these ingredients, if you don't like them, you don't have to add them. You can put whatever you want. Now, I've got quite a bit of bell peppers left. That right there is going to go in those burritos I was talking about in the morning. All right, now that we got the bell peppers done, we're going to dice up some of these white onion right here. Same thing with the size. It's all up to preference. If you like bigger chunks of onion, put bigger chunks of onion in it. There we go. I know when I did this with the back strap, I didn't use the same ingredients inside, but I did. It was a cream cheese base. Oh my God, it turned out amazing. We're going to save the jalapeno for last. That way I don't mess around and rub my eyes or something. Now we're going to just dice up this parsley, this Italian parsley right here. Very, very thin into small pieces. Friends, puppies wanting to be part of the show. And now we got some chives for the breakfast tacos. I might end up having to film that. What do y'all think about that? Y'all want to see a breakfast? All right, now we're going to do the jalapeno. Jalapeno on a stick. Now the seeds is what makes jalapenos hot. So if you want it scorching, leave quite a bit of the seeds in there. Now make sure that you don't touch your eyes while you're doing this part. And I typically like to cut my jalapenos up in somewhat of medium sized little squares. I actually love the flavor of jalapeno. And for the people that like the flavor of jalapeno, but not the spice, they actually have a jalapeno that you can grow called, uh, I think it's like a Noah Pino or something like that. It's got the exact same flavor as jalapeno without the spice. It's amazing. Tell me that don't look good right there. Wow. That is amazing. If it tastes anything like it smells and looks, it's going to be something to talk about. Now what we're going to do, we're just going to roll it up just like this. Just like that. And this one, 
we're going to roll up the other direction. Well, yeah, we're going to roll this one up this direction because it's a little longer this way. All right, now we got them on our plate. They look just like our, just a regular pork tenderloin. But boy, they got all kinds of goodness stuffed up in there. Now, we're gonna use some of this sweet and spicy head country seasoning. Not that we need to add too much flavor because all of that stuff we put on the inside will do the trick. Put a little lemon pepper on it. And a little salt and pepper. That's it. Keep it simple. Now there is a way to do a basket weaving thing here, but I'm not trying to get that fancy tonight. It's getting dark pretty fast. All right, I got the grill at about 250. We'll let it smoke that way for about probably two hours, and then I'll kick it up to 3, 350, and we'll go ahead and crisp that bacon real good, and then we'll try it out. Let's go ahead and get this other one wrapped. Go ahead and get that one on the grill. Then it's just a waiting game. Now we're just gonna cook it low and slow. Now I will tell you, this isn't no Jenny Craig recipe now, come on. You might have to go for a walk after this one. All right, I'm gonna get cleaned up and let this cook for about two hours and then we'll go ahead and check it. All right guys, we should be just about done. Let's take a look at it. Murphy is. Ooh, look at that. That looks pretty amazing. I think we could go ahead and pull it. We'll let it set over here and cool. Get all them juices. it tastes anywhere near as good as it looks I think we're gonna be on to something all right guys we got it off the grill as you can see it's dark out let's go ahead and cut into it and see what it tastes like all right, guys, I'm not gonna be the one that tries it first. I'm gonna have my beautiful assistant try it and give me her honest opinion. Hello, are you ready to try some beautiful stuffed pork loins? It looks very beautiful. I hope so. The potatoes look very pretty. Thank you. Huh. Okay. All right, let's go ahead and cut into it. All right, let's give it a try here. Here's the moment of truth, guys. Mm. Let me give y'all a close-up of what it looks like. Smell. That smell. is a smell. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> as soon as you caught it, it was like... There you go. You can smell the vegetable. 
let me pick it up a little bit so you can actually get a better look at the inside of that guys it looks phenomenal oh, look at all those juices <laughs> following off there all right let's cut off margarita a piece Alright, the moment of truth, guys. Man, my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> really good. Can you taste all the flavors? Mm hmm The cream cheese gives it a really, really good flavor. A good twist. Here, I'm gonna try it. Let me see what we're working with. Mm. Hi. I'm not going to lie, sometimes <laughs> I surprise myself. This is definitely one of those. So, was it a win or a fail? Mm. You're still eating, so I'm guessing it was a win. I'm licking my finger, so <laughs> I win. <laughs> I normally do not lick my fingers. <laughs> the potatoes look amazing too. They're perfectly cooked. I'm not going to dress all those up right now. It's getting late and we're getting hungry. So I think we're gonna go ahead and call it for this one. But until we see each other again, guys, come on. Hey, keep it fired up.